Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, and welcome to Friday, where we have our last installment of Kubi Week. And now we don't have an actual review, but we have a giveaway, and we kind of have an overview to go over of, of Kubi as a brand. So before I get into all that, though, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content and giveaways. There is more giveaways and a big giveaway coming when I hit 10,000 subscribers, which is not that far away. We're getting dangerously close, and uh, there will be a massive giveaway, so be ready for that. But, Kubi, let's talk about them. So over this week, I've uh, reviewed three additional Kubis, these three right here. Uh, the KU901C, the KU901G, and the KU322D, I believe. I'm pretty sure. And then I also have a couple other Kubis right here. Um, this one I did uh, somewhat, somewhat recently. Um, one of my favorite Kubis ever. Still very high up there. I, I can't remember the exact number on this. It's it's one of the one, one of the little drawbacks of Kubis. It's it's hard to remember the numbers for all these knives. Uh, but it's a front flipper. It's a very nice size. Very smooth action. We're gonna talk about all these as well as this one right here, um, which I've had for quite a while, and I also have a review posted of this. Um, this one was reviewed quite a long time ago. There's been a lot of improvements made to Kubis since this one, but this is still a good one the action is still good we'll talk about all that all that too um as you can see this one has had a significant amount of love i've dropped this guy on the concrete um it's uh it's, it's beat up pretty good but again it's it's one of my keep it sitting around the house type of beater knives to where when i need a knife uh it's just within an arm's reach away but now kubi Let's talk about not just one of these knives, but all of these knives and this, this, this brand right here, this Kubi brand. Uh, what do they bring to the table when you buy a Kubi knife? What should you expect? Um, from my experience now, and I have handled one, two, three, four, five, uh, and I would say three more. I be so I believe I've handled a total of eight Kubis, eight different models. No, actually, there was another one I reviewed. So at least nine. There's been at least nine, maybe a tenth one. I can't remember now. It's a lot more than I thought, actually, just going back and, and thinking about it in my head. I, I'm coming up on ten Kubis that I have handled and, and uh, reviewed. And I have to say, Kubi has impressed me from the very beginning, the, from the very first... Uh, Kubi knife I reviewed on the channel that one was impressive in terms of what it was and they have they have kept getting better they, it's also important to know that Kubi has a premium line um I've I've only reviewed one of the premium Kubis and it was it was pretty good it was a very unique design uh but the quality and action was there um so key points to take away from Kubi what should you expect when you buy a Kubi quality you are 100% getting great quality. Quality that is right up there with Civivi and Kaiser and QSP. Um, who's another budget one that I'm leaving out? Um, CJRB. Um, they are very, very good in their quality department. I've had very few quality issues with any Kubis. Um, I think the biggest quality issue I've ever had with the Kubi was maybe just a little off-centering of the blade. Something like that, which to me, again, I've said before when I reviewed this knife, this is still acceptable to me, but that's literally the worst issue I've ever had with the Kubi. So you're getting very good quality. Durability, which is kind of stacks on top of quality, but that also factors into the materials that are being used and, and a couple other factors, but durability of a knife. I'm going to go back to this Kubi here. I can't remember the number, but this knife has been beat on. It's been from all over America to Canada because I, I took it with me on some work travel. It is a great knife that has been dropped, kicked, scratched, taken apart, clean, put back together. Um, extremely durable knives. They really are. Their G10 it seems to be a little thicker than, than other knives. They Sometimes they don't have the liners. I think Kubi has went into the process of incorporating more liners into their knives than in the past. Um, as you can see on all these ones, they have liners. This is an older one, and it has uh, inset liners on the inside, but still thick G10, no flex in the scales. Uh, they just, they all, and they all feel good in hand. This one feels a little extra good in hand. I love this choil and how it wraps around. Um, but 
extremely durable knives. You don't have to worry about dropping a kubi and it breaking once it hits the cement. It may get scratched up, but that's that's that any any G10 any metal is going to scratch if you drop it on cement. But in terms of holding up and taking a beating, uh, kubi is definitely going to be able to do that for you. Now action. Action is such an important part to a folding knife. Whether people like to admit it or not, oh, I just use my knife's a user. That's all I do with it is use it. If if you do, that's fine. I, I'm not. That's what knives are for. But they're also the satisfying action. That is a big part that makes us feel like we're getting more value and more enjoyment out of our tools that we use every day. Um, action on Kubis, really, really good. Every single one, every single one. Fantastic action fidgety action uh even their pure flippers are fun to flip they 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 bring the aesthetics to you um middle finger flicking got it down front flipping on point kubi has nailed the action for what they offer in a budget knife i'm gonna get rid of these boxes and just kind of bring these knives front and center here but uh i have never had a kubi that's had disappointing action and I can say that with 100% certainty. Um, the, the action on a Kubi is pretty much dialed in. Their detents are surprisingly great. I've never had any detent issues with a Kubi. I've never had one that was, that was too strong or one that was too light. Um, they're always dialed in very well. Um, value. Value is an important subject to hit on with Kubi because... There's a couple things that, that they do that I don't think everyone is absolutely in love with, but that doesn't mean it won't change. Um, Kubi, another thing I really like about them is from what I've noticed with my experience in the past, um, they tend to listen to the people, and that's another reason why so many people like Kubis. Um, so value. Um, and that's when we talk about value, we're talking about materials and cost and that combination of those two. Do you get a good balance? Um, in my opinion, absolutely. You cannot say you don't because they're 50 bucks. They're 50 bucks a knife. Literally $50, $50, $50. This one may be 55 or 59, maybe a little. I, I, I think it's still 50 bucks. These three I know for a fact are 50 bucks. This one I believe is less than 50. This one actually, I want to say this was like $34.99 or $35. I got that one off Amazon um, quite a while ago, well before um, I had any real connection or communication with Kubi. Um, but again, it, it, it was a great one, which says even more. I mean, I paid for that one and I was extremely happy with it. Um, but you get, you do get value. Now you don't always get the exact materials you want in the budget line. They, they use a lot of D2. Most of their, if not all of their budget knives are D2. I, I don't think anyone's doing backflips over D2. They're not too excited about it anymore. 154 CM and 14 C 28 N. And I think those are the two primary budget steels that we like to see now. But there's other steels out there too. Um, for me personally, corrosion resistance is a really big thing for me. So that's kind of why I shy away from D2 and it's a little harder to sharpen. But the value, the overall value, D2 is still a very good user steel for a knife that you're going to pay 50 bucks for. It's a good steel to have because it does hold a good edge. Again, it does, it does have its drawbacks though. The materials in the rest of the handle and the liners, uh, they, they do a good job of removing material on the internal liners to, to take some weight out of there. Um, the G10 is very good quality. Um, so I absolutely think you get plenty good enough value for what you're paying. Now, if these were $100 knives, I'd have something else to say. But for $50, I, I, I cannot argue that. I, I just can't. Um, could there be some improvements to Kubi? Yes, there could be. But this is another thing that I like about Kubi. When they sent me their knives, there there was no, you got to do this, you got to do that, you have to, you know, please speak kindly. No, they sent me the knives and said, we look forward to your review. That tells me they're confident in their product. And I, and I already kind of knew that. But when you're working with a manufacturer or a brand in general, and there's no influence, that says a lot to me. And obviously, if there is influence, I'm not necessarily going to call them out, but I'm not going to say there wasn't. So I, I'm always uh, I'm always happy and relieved to say that. It makes the review process easier to where I don't feel like I'm, you know, walking on thin ice because if that was the case, I just wouldn't review it. If, if there's always a bunch of stipulations or or if a company's not happy with what I have to say, this channel is the truth. 
it's my truth anyway. It's what I think. It's what, and I think I have a pretty good pulse on what majority of the knife community wants. Not everybody. I know I don't speak for everyone. I don't think I speak for any individual person. I try and take and my general consensus of how I think the community feels, tie that in with my opinion, and give you guys the content that that I think is pretty decent. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. I, um, you know, that that's we're getting we're getting lost in the weeds here, but. But in terms of improvements for Kubi, I think I would like to see, I definitely want to see that 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 D2 change to like 154CM or, or 14C28N. That would be really, really nice. I think everyone would love that. Um, and it, it, there's been other companies to do it and prove that it's possible. So I, I think that is possible and realistic. Um, outside of that, though, you were really grabbing at straws because you get past the D2 thing and everything else in a Kubi is really pretty awesome. The only thing that I would like to see change a little is the clip here. I'd like to see, I, aesthetically, I, I really do like these clips. Um, and I want to compare them to a Civivi clip that I, and you guys know I rag on Civivi clips and Wii clips now because they're using the same stinking thing, which is annoying as heck to me. But this is the difference. You see that now, I wish it had the opening, the same amount of opening on the clip as this Civivi Cogent clip does. But it's still, even if it had the right ramp or the, the, a bigger opening, the way the ramp comes down, it's, it's a sleeker profile. It just, it looks a lot better on the handle, in my opinion. Um, it kind of reminds me a little more of like a Lynch clip, the way it kind of slenders down there and has a little, a, a little swoop at the end for the, for the, uh, for the actual end of the clip that the first thing to go in your pocket, you have a, you know, you have a nice amount of clearance there. So that's not an issue. But the Civivi clips, they're just, they're, they're straight. They're kind of boring and bland, and they just don't look like they go with their knives. This one here, I, I'm sorry. I just think it looks a lot better on the knife, and aesthetically, it's much more pleasing. Even an older Kubi, they still had their clips down then. They just, it looks good with the knife. So in terms of the clips, I like it. I just wish there was a little more opening there so it wouldn't get caught up on any thicker pocket hems. Um... Outside of that, the only other thing that I would like to see change is that a, a better way to differentiate between their models, because what you have here is a Kubi KU901 and a Kubi KU901. So two very different looking knives that are both Kubi KU901, it's just that one's a C and one's a G. That can be confusing for consumers. Um, it, it, it's not even, an, I'm not being nitpicky, I'm trying to think of someone as a consumer buying something and getting confused and being unsure of what they're going to get. If they're unsure of what they're going to get, they're not going to buy it. Um, so I think that's very important to do something to straighten up. I mean, if this was a KU 350 and this was a KU 320, that's completely different. It's still the numbers, but it's easier to differentiate than just one letter at the end of a number. So I, I, I think I, you know, made that clear enough. I think if that changed, that would make it a little nicer. But other than that, guys, there's really not a lot of things to talk about in terms of improvements for Kubi. I think they're in a really good place. I think they have some fantastic knives. And at the price point, I think they're right up there with the Civivis and QSPs. I don't know. Kaiser is really high up there for me. Kaiser Kaiser's really doing some awesome things. I can't put them with Kaiser, but and I'm, I completely mean this when I say it. I really think they're right up there with Civivi, QSP, CJRB. Um, for some reason, they're just not talked about enough. And so that was the purpose of this week was to get you guys into, into Kubi, take a deeper look at them because there's some awesome knives and they make a lot of changes. You know, this first knife here had a free spinning pivot that I thought was really annoying. Now these new pivots are not free spinning. They're notched, so they're not moving. I didn't really like the branding on it. Now these newer models have cleaner pivots. So it's they're making changes and the kubi kubi is constantly evolving i really could see kubi becoming a a very premium manufacturer at some point down the road and i'm not saying riot but i'm saying like the kubi compared to civivi they could have a budget line and then their premium line you know it could really fall in line and absolutely compete with civivi and we um they're that good it's just going to take a little more time. Um, the designs, obviously, you got to have attractive designs in your lineup that I think a lot of people want to see. But the actions there, guys, this is a prime example. Uh, this this uh, KU901C, KU901C here um, 
is probably the most impressive of this whole group um, as a complete package, but I still really love this one here too. The middle finger flicking action on it is fantastic. Uh, the front flipping action, very good. So th there's really, it, it would honestly be hard to go wrong with any of these knives. Um, obviously that one is a little more beat up, but brand new out of the box. It's a fantastic knife too. Um, so yeah, to wrap everything up, you're getting quality, you're getting action, you're getting value, you're getting durability. That's the Kubi brand. And I'm sure they're going to be making improvements along the way too. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have down the road. And I'm, I need to start taking a closer look at their premium lineup because they have a really nice selection of, of premium models and also kind of like mid-range models. Not, not as many of those, but they have some. Um, to where they've taken some of their budgets, made them a little premium. They got a lot of things going on, and it is exciting to see what Koopy's doing. So with that being said, it's giveaway time. It is giveaway time, and the little trick, the little, uh, not trick, uh, the, 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 the little uh, touch I made to this giveaway, I'm going to let the winner pick which knife they want. So obviously, <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to pick this knife, but it's available. If you want it, it's yours, but... Any of these five knives here, um, the winner will get to select which one they want. I originally had this knife here in my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, um, but what I'm going to do is, like I said, let the winner pick which knife they want. Then I'm going to take the second most requested knife and put that knife in my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So there'll still be a Kubi in the 10, 10K giveaway, but there's also a giveaway going on here. So with that being said, to enter this giveaway... This is what I want from you guys, and you gotta you gotta follow up on both ends. Um, one, I want to know which model you want, and two, and if you're not sure which one, just describe it. They're all different enough. If you don't know the numbers, that's <laughs> again one of the little things that could be fixed. But um, let me know which one you want, and then also list one improvement you'd like to see Kubi make because a big thing I've taken away from Kubi over the over the past you know couple of years is that they do make changes they do they listen to their customer base and that's very important so I'm sure there's going to be someone from Kubi paying attention to these comments so in the comments which knife do you like most and which one do you want the same thing and um what improvement would you like to see Kubi make if you had to pick one improvement what would you like to see him make so there you go, guys. Comment below to get in on this. I'm going to draw the winner a week from today. So next Friday, we will have a winner drawn. Um, and that, that's going to be the first Friday in February. So if you're watching this in the future and you missed it, I'm sorry. But sometimes I have people commenting on giveaways from like a year ago. And <laughs> sorry, but you can't win those ones. This one you can win, though. Drop the comments. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. An extra huge shout out to Kubi. And thank you for their generosity and support of this channel. Um, I look forward to seeing what they have come out in the future. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I got more content coming your way. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, I'm out.